Hey, Mike, come on in. Hey, how's it going today? Going good. Well, this is going to be our little adventure that we want to try to destroy today. So what do you think we can do? Well, we'll try our best to destroy it. All right, let's see what we can work with. Okay. We're going to use the very end connectors here, so they're connecting to the flat part. That way you can see full strength of how strong this is around to this edge. And then same for here up on top. So what we've done is we've connected to the top part of the piece and pinched it off so that we can actually see how strong this area is here. Because this is where the camera is always constantly going uh, in and out of the, the holder. Okay, so the next step what we're going to do is Matt is actually programming the Instrum machine uh, to the proper settings and we're going to set it up so that it's working on a pull tear uh, configuration. And he's actually loading up the, the parameters into the machine when he goes to do that. Ready and to go? We're going to give it a try. Okay, as you can see from this particular example, it actually broke in a couple spots. It actually broke here on the edge, as well here on the bottom. And what was the actual strength to actually do that? It was 117 pounds. So 117 pounds of pull. Can you kind of explain to me what we what actually is happening here? The, what, what does the machine actually do? What this is, is this is an Instron machine, and it measures the, the, the force that it takes in pounds to, to make something break, or you can do compressions with it and stuff like that. But in this case, we're doing pulls. And what it does is, this is a calibrated head in here. And uh, we hook the two arms up, and basically it's pulling this apart by these two arms here, and actually records the peak measurement that it takes to break it right at the time of breaking. Gotcha, excellent. Okay, so we've done one example here. We've seen it was 117 pounds. Yeah, 117 pounds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try pulling it a couple other different directions just to see what it takes to break that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's uh, ready to give her a pull. Ready to give her a pull. on that one. Okay, this one came out 102 pounds. 102 pounds of break that. If we take a look of what actually happened here, it actually broke in a little different spot compared to this location. So as you can see, uh, everything is holding up uh, on this flexible arm. And this arm we can actually twist and bend and it's very pliable and it actually comes right back to its position. So the final results in the end, after taking two of the H3 Pro 7 uh, holders, we have actually tore both of them apart in both cases. Uh, as you can see, they broke in a variety of different places, whether they broke on the arm or in the side piece or in here. But in all cases, everything in, uh, broke at over uh, 70 to 80 pounds in all cases. So that gives us quite a bit of pull between each one of the different exercises that we actually did today. But I'd like to thank Keystone Tool and Die for all their help today, and thank Matt for all of his help, and uh, hopefully we can get this stuff online quickly and everybody will be able to see how uh, the 360-year-old hold-ups under extreme pressure. Thanks, have a great day.